Okay, that way. Today we are exploring Shimokitazawa. It's like a neighborhood just in Tokyo. It's um, like one stop out of Shibuya Station on the Kyo something line. It's a different train line, but you can use your Suica card to get here. And we're just outside the um, train station now, trying to figure out what to do. I'm trying to find some food. There's this place where to be a cage or something. It's a pop-up food venue. Anyway, this is what we see. Okay, so behind me might potentially be the cage. It's really small though. It's only like one shop, but I kind of thought it was like a lot of different venues and stuff all gathered in one place. But we don't know. It said um, that's only running until 2019. So I don't know if it's inclusive or what, but I don't know. Not much here either way, so we're just gonna go and find food somewhere else. One thing I love about Asia is that you don't need to be able to read to understand food because they show it to you. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, we're getting one of these. These are curry croquets. They look so good. Keith got a beef curry. We're at this restaurant, famous for skewers and stuff. And they said they had an English menu, but um, it wasn't. Uh, there wasn't a lot of English on the English menu. And I don't know what we just got. Okay. Is it cooked? It didn't look very cool. Can you have reactions faster? <laughs> it's really chewy. Probably the inside of an animal. I think I know what it is actually. Looking at it now, I think it's. I think they're intestines. Yeah, I think it is too. <laughs> and they gave us this. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it though. Really chewy. It's not disgusting, but it's really chewy. So it's not intestine. I don't know what it actually was. I don't know the flavor of the sauce. It's mirin and. Miso. It's a really nice sauce. It's actually the tendon that connects um, the muscle and bone to the cow. That's what it is. So it's like tendon muscle. Otherwise really tough. Once again we didn't know what we ordered. We just picked vegetable dishes. And this is deep fried things on skewers. I wonder how this part works. Some sort of lettuce and Sauce. Mm, let's eat. It's really cramped in here. But right, there's a little coffee shop called Frankie Coffee, and it says Melbourne Espresso on it. Because nothing will satisfy Keith's desire. We got a little taste of home. We got lamingtons. I've been craving lamingtons for months. And a little coffee. A little taste of home. Mm. Haven't been home in like six months, so a little taste of home is good in a Melbourne themed cafe. <laughs> Why does it have pink stuff in it? Jam. Yeah, you can jam lemon mm. It's good. Back to the nightmare that is Shinjuku Station. We're trying to find a churro line. But we have no idea where that is. <laughs> Made it out of Shinjuku and we are now at Nakano Station, which is in Nakano City. We're just only a few stops outside of Shinjuku. And it's going to be another cool area for things like anime and games and everything otaku. So we thought we would check it out. Once we finally get out of here, it's really busy here. And this shopping street is Nakano Sun Mall. It's basically right outside of the station. And it's just a big indoor shopping mall thing. You don't have to go takoyaki here apparently. It's that place. Do some takoyaki? Here's the takoyaki. Better than ones we had. Toppings look better. Mm. You try it first. Mm. I bet it's hot. They're always hot, aren't they? It's more hot. <laughs> mm. 
good though. Better than the ones we had? Mmm. Just not burning your mouth, it's really good. Down the end of the Sun Mall is Nakano Broadway, which is some big shopping mall thing. And I think it's meant to have, I don't know, basically everything. Tons of toys and game things, apparently. Let's go check that out. Oh, that street's cool. These streets are so cool around here. And this cool store is like some, I don't know, it's like a second-hand store for like toys and, um, yeah, toys and figurines and stuff. Mmm, you look really strong. This place is so overwhelming. We walked into like seven or eight of those toy shops. There were so many things, we were so dead. And, and now we're just gonna be leaving, I think. I feel like we've seen everything. Every single gacha that is possibly out there right now. Want it before the train comes. Okay, these are Kalpas Mochi. In case you didn't hear that, I said it's Kalpas Mochi. Trying to eat it before the train comes because we can't eat on the train. I want one too. Is it good? <laughs> We're here at Coco Curry for dinner, which is like a um, curry chain here in Japan. And here's mine. I got eggplant and vegetable, and Keith got this giant tonkatsu and vegetable. It's really cool because you can like completely customize everything. You can customize how much rice you want, the, the sauce, the spiciness, all your toppings. And they gave us a fun sauce. And these pickles here, these little pickles are amazing. We got level 5 spice, which we've never tried, so they said it was spicy. Is it spicy? There's spice to it. But like 10 would be really hot. Okay. There's spice to it though. Yeah, there was like a warning on it saying that it was super spicy. Yeah, if 10 is as spicy as this, it'd be way too spicy. Ooh, okay. Mmm, looks so good. Mmm. I eat the pork. Oh, it's so spicy. <laughs> it said um, level 3 was the standard, and 4 was the real deal, but the most associated Japanese food is not being spicy. When they say something's really spicy, it's like never spicy. I thought this would be fine. It's quite spicy. I would recommend going down if you've never tried it before. Just go with like 3 to start with. Oh, it's edible. You gotta like take breaks. So, <sighs> salad. <laughs> I had fire noodles. I had fire chicken noodles. Oh, it's not as spicy as that. It's nowhere near as spicy as that. This so spicy. Okay, that was delicious, but it was spicy. And I think we deserve a vanilla ice cream or something. Coolish. Coolish. Like Coolish. Ice cream in a pouch thing. It's really good. Coolish. Coolish. And it'll help get rid of the, uh, the burning sensation I'm currently experiencing. <laughs> this is what you gotta get in Japan. Coolish. Coolish. So good. Good job. <laughs> good afternoon. We are finally leaving the hotel. No, that's a lie. We've actually left the hotel already. We went shopping at Muji and Uniqlo which are literally across the road from our hotel so that was kind of dangerous but we controlled ourselves and the other day we got blueberry ch um, chopper chops and we're trying them now they're really good they taste like blueberries right now we're on our way to Asakusa which is like an old neighborhood it's got like famous for a, a temple and there's meant to be like a really cool shopping street this elevator is taking forever to come up here Okay, we made it to Asakusa and we're heading towards Sensuji Temple. What I find confusing about Japan is whether you keep to the left or you keep to the right. Because everywhere we go, it's different. Okay, we've made it to Nakamise Shopping Street. It's like the main shopping area here. It's approximately 250 meters. Aiming the shoulder with Sorry. <laughs> 250 meters long full of shops and stuff and it's kind of like souvenirs and you can get good street food here and I'll show you this cool gate thing once this cool group gets out of the way Okay, they're not going to move anytime soon so here's the gate Wow, there's so many shops here This is literally 
the first thing you see once you can make it past the big gate. Guys, I think I found my ultimate gachapon machine. It's pins, which I've been looking for. I've been trying to find some cool pin for my bag. And it's trains. Oh my god. Oh my god, I like all of them. But Mr. Money Man here has no coins on him right now. Because <laughs> he left our coin bag in the hotel room. We just have to buy something, don't we? Got a cold green tea. It smells so good. Yeah, I know. Sweet. Ooh. Oh, it's really good. You like it. Mm. Mm, I like that. Keeps not letting me buy anything. So that over there is Tokyo Sky Tree, which is supposedly the tallest tower in the world. It doesn't look that tall, but I suppose when you consider what they define as a tower, I guess it makes sense. And here we are at the gate to the temple. Sensuji Temple. I think it's a Buddhist temple. <laughs> there are these cool, um, like Japanese fortune things you can get. It's like a piece of paper and tells you like predictions about your future, your lucky numbers, and all these things. And I think that's what I was. I thought that's what we we're doing at that other temple, but it wasn't. But I think this might be it. And apparently, if you get a lucky one, I mean a bad one, you can tie it to this rack. <laughs> Gotta put money to the gods. What's it say? Which one do you have to go to? Help. <laughs> okay, it's got it's three plus three. Three plus three. It's got two yeah. plus two. Oh yeah. Two Be somewhere around here. Um three plus three. Oh you found it? Okay. <laughs> Three plus three. Yeah, this upside down. <laughs> On the other side. Number 33. Regular fortune. When spring comes with the tree blossoms so charming, the sweet smell fills the wood field and the sky. Your fortune will go developing your chance. The bright moon comes shine among the fading clouds. Meeting a person of high social status, his help will bring you a happy life. Huh? <laughs> you're gonna make sure you're nice and clean before you go in the temple. I don't think it matters where you do it. This one's cool, it's got like dragons on it. You ready for the temple? Mm hmm. Clean. Wow, there's like a little garden and everything out here. I was not expecting that. And there's this cool pagoda over there. That's what they're called, right? Pagodas? I have no idea what half of these buildings are. They're all like religious buildings. So the temples and things to different gods and stuff. But... Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I got interrupted because there's this pagoda back there. And I wanted a photo with just it and no one around, but it seemed kind of impossible because there's always someone in the shot. But we've had a chance. And um, I forgot what I was saying, but basically this area is really beautiful and peaceful and I like it, it's cool. I've never heard of this area before. So, but it seems popular, there's like a bajillion people here. There's less people when you go over here though. Yeah, on this side there's a lot less people. And that like main temple area and the shopping street, there's so many people. And now we're just gonna go down like this other cool shopping street we passed by when we first got here. It's right next to Nakamize shopping street though. It's like literally parallel to it. The bus is so cute. <laughs> now I believe this is the tourist information center building. It's just right across the road from the subway. And according to a blog that we read, you can go up it for free to get a cool view and we can see people up there, so hopefully it's not closed. Okay, yeah, we just walked in and took the elevator up to the 8th floor, so there's viewing deck, totally free, and this is the view, like, that's so good, that's free. <laughs> there's this like little sign here thing that shows you what everything is. 
So yep, that building over there was Tokyo Sky Tree and all these things here. And then on the other side, you can see over where the market was, that shopping street. And at the end is the temple, right there. That's the shopping area. If you come to Asakusa, you should come up this building because it's free and really easy to find and it's kind of empty up here so plus you get a cool view yeah. and for dinner we're back at that ramen place we went to the first time because it's my last meal in japan and you can't get this level of ramen anywhere else in the world thank you i got the tonkatsu with um, fried garlic oil and what did you get? Creamy. Creamy. Mm, looks so good. Mmm, mm, so yummy. Mmm, ramen. Now let's go get dessert. <laughs> I think it's called a tei, teiyaki. It's traditionally it's like a fish shaped bread sort of thing filled with um, red bean paste. Oh, you can get it with like all kinds of fillings these days. And we got a magic cart one. And the only flavor they had left was chocolate, so that's what we got. Yeah. Mm hmm? 